Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a component set that would work for your buttons and also work for the icons inside of your design. This is going to make your design even more easier. It's basically going to make all of the process easier because you don't have to always search for something and replace to have it in your design. All you need to do is just click on that particular thing and then just choose the icon that you want to use or you can always turn on and off the different button style like in case you don't want this icon in your button anymore you can easily just turn it off or turn it on and in case you want to have different states for your buttons such as the primary secondary disabled tertiary state of your buttons i mean the different types of your buttons you can have all of that and also with the different state for the buttons being active inactive hovered um, disabled you can always have all of this so without wasting much of your time let's get right into this so you're going to need two things the first one is you're going to need all the state of your buttons all the types of your buttons for now and then you're going to need icons all the icons you're going to be using for that design in this case I'm using just default icons now you can get your icons from huge icons pro if you want to get similar icons like mine all you need to do is go to the solid and just drag out an icon and you can find really lovely stuff around here I'm going to change this one because you have to always use the same style of icon initially my icon bank wasn't working so I don't know what happened it fixed itself so I'm going to type in 16 because all of these icons are 16 ensure you make them consistent you can always enlarge them in your design very very easy all right so now you've gotten all of your icons the next step is to design your button this button has a text of 16 and a padding of 28 so let's just basically design one so that you have an idea of how to design the button so type in 16 for your button press shift plus a to have this auto layout i'll just give it a stroke so that you can see it and then we're going to use the horizontal padding i'm just going to type 24 and then for the uh, vertical padding because i love big buttons i'm going to type 16. you can use 12 you can use 8 whichever one works for you you own the design all right with that we give a, a few just going to make the fill black and that's our button now you can round the radius to like 16 or you can round it completely by typing 100 or more and you would have the rounded button now now that we have the button let's get right into business so ensure you have all the different states this one has if i give it a white uh if i if i draw like a white rectangle downwards and just give this white you're going to see the different states of our button this is the tertiary this is secondary and this is the primary now you have to name all these buttons so i would start by calling this primary i'll just type pri you can type to yours in full type s e c tertiary t e r and then this is going to be disabled this all right so i'm doing that because of time now we have all of that typed out and the next step is to turn them into components so in order for you to turn the buttons into components you need to turn the icons into a component first so to do that is very easy first select all of your icons without 100 200 icons and you can do this by hitting components and then create component set now if you get out one of this icon we select one and bring it out you would find all of them down here all of them are here but this is not the best approach when you have a lot of icons if you have just a few icons let's say three icons maybe this arrow icon the, the cancel icon and the tick icon then you can use this style because they are just a few icons you can find them easily but if you want to see the picture of your icons and um, yeah before selecting them to be sure that's the icon so you're not always guessing then use this pattern now all of the icons are here and all I need to do is select each of them and I'm going to click on create component set so I'm going to do this for all of them now we're done with that the next step is to take that icon and put it in your buttons now I already have some icons that are like uh, components here 
uh, but this is what I'm going to do. I created the first video, it was quite long, so I had to recreate this. So I'm going to select this one, hold Alt, duplicate it with Alt, and then all I need to do is just move it into my design. And then I can get rid of this other one. Change the color of this to white. All right, and I can do the same thing. Just put it here. All right, copy that, paste it in this one. And we're done. We're basically done. Now, the next step you would want to take is to turn this into a component set and carry out the next step. So, select all the buttons, all of your buttons, go up. Click on the drop down and choose create component set. Now, in order for you to use these buttons effectively, that means you can use the buttons when you want it to be on with an uh, with an arrow. You can use it when you want you don't want it to be with an arrow as well. I don't know if you understand. So it's basically there are buttons that do not have icons with them, and there are buttons that have icons with them. So in case you want to use it in those different states all you need to do is very very simple and this is what you're going to do so you're going to select all the icons select all the icons first so i'm going to select this this and this all four of them come down here where you see layer and you're going to see create boolean property so just click on it, it you're going to have a model i don't know if it's showing but you have a model that says create component property and then with that you can just type in in the name type icons and then the value will be true then click on create component all right do the same for the text so i'm going to select all the text if there are 20 different buttons select all the text and then you're going to see over here below text you're going to find this create text property click on it you're going to have a model that says create component property and then name text leave it as text value get started leave it as get started the get started is the actual text that i have now you can always change it if i type login when i click create property it will change all the text so i'm just going to click on create property and we are done we're basically done so now it's time to see if it worked so we're going to grab one of the icon uh, one of the button and put it in our design somewhere around here all right and you're going to see this now we have a toggle on for our icon you see now we have the button with an icon without an icon with an icon without an icon we can change it to the secondary state and the icon works the same so if you don't want this you can also change the text here you can just type in login and whatever you want to type get started now it's going to give you the same result so we're just going to leave that get started and then all you need to do is just drag your button to the end don't worry it will still work all right and then we can hide our grid for now select this it's in the secondary button so i want it to be in the primary and we have this arrow with it and then i will duplicate that select both of them put them in auto layout and i'll constrain it to the bottom and um, to the bottom now this is because if i want this screen to extend i want the button to also extend uh, the same way to react the same way and not stay at that point all right with this we can select the second button here and change it to secondary and then we can remove the arrow from it and then we can obviously type login and that's it guys that's how you can effortlessly create this now let's do the second part where we have to change icons within our design so i'm just going to get out one of the icon and just move it into our design right and i'm going to change this icon to like 24 center it horizontally and vertically okay and now we have this now i'm just going to copy it and paste it in these other guys and now we can change our icon so let's look for one of the icons the name of the icon is user love user lock user shield call and arrow right so we're go just going to pick let's pick all of the users for this one it is user love so i'm going to change the user love you can see all of them here to user lock and then this other one i'm going to change it to 
user sheet and that's how you can do this easily within your design two seconds and that's very much it if you want to add more icons to your icon bag it's very easy all you need to do is just choose the icon so i'll go back to the huge icons and then i'll just grab any icon bring it out all right and just make it the same size with the other one so it's 16 that's easy 16 and then just click on create component at the top this is acceleration so let's see if it added to our icon bank so i'm just going to change this one to acceleration so i'm going to type acceleration now if your icon is not showing the way it's showing in mine it's because i've done an extra settings so your icon might be showing this way and it's very tiny so if you want it to show bigger all you need to do is come up here where it says show as grid next to swap instance click on that and it will show as a grid and that's how you can go about creating this and i hope this video has been helpful to you as it has to my career so far and i'll see you guys very very soon bye bye